Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I thought I'd talk briefly about telepathy which is the wave of the future for humankind and what it may mean to us in the short term. Um, so uh, a couple of months ago I was in a town in a different part of the United States and I, I was driving past and I saw a young person there huddled on a park bench who looked like they were in trouble in, in need of medical assistance desperately and um, I was unable to stop at that time but instead I signaled uh, t telepathically to um, the police department there in that town and asked them to please go and look and make sure everything was okay. And uh, it was not long before one of them actually went there and checked and made sure that it was all right. Um, and that was some months ago. Now, I want to talk to you about a couple of other instances that just happened. Uh, and that's because it seems to me, because of these new instances, that this um, phenomenon is becoming rapidly more universally so. And so it's going to be affecting a lot of people and it's going to provide um, uh, help for people, for humankind in, in ways that are not yet possible for most people or, or just barely beginning to be possible. It's going to provide all kinds of assistance to humankind. I'll give you a couple of other examples. Um, it'll, it'll speed up emergency services, for instance, right? Because the minute someone sees an accident uh, on the freeway, they can immediately notify the police of, um, of what is going on and where, what lane, what, what uh, intersection, what, what street, uh, what the situation is, whether it looks like uh, people have been injured or, or what the situation, just traffic blocked. So... So when we become more adept at this, what I would call crossover phenomenon uh, between the astral plane and the physical plane, then, uh, then emergency services will greatly uh, improve and more people's lives will be saved in many cases. So that's the first instance. And so then the, to get to these two instances that happened yesterday and today, I was in a hardware store yesterday a big hardware store. If I were to mention the name, you'd know the name most likely. And uh, there they have, you know, some people uh, here and there in the different departments who tell you where to go to get things if you need them, right? So I went and spoke with a person in, in one, uh, one area of the store and asked for assistance with other areas of the store. And the first thing she did was she looked at her handheld and tried to locate the items, right? But they weren't on the list of, of items and the aisle numbers that she had. And so she went to another person who was nearby and asked her. This person was familiar. And that, that way she got her answer. So this provided like a, a link. You don't have to have a link, but this provided a link from me to her temporarily while in the store. And I was in another aisle and I was wondering, I'm actually with the both of them, and I was wondering um, where something was or like that. And they answered my question, my customer service question, on the, on the astral plane. So there you have another instance, greatly speeded up customer service in large stores. So today, this is also interesting. Today, I was driving down the street and, and pretty soon I heard, a, a, it was a busy street in a town, and I heard a fire engine coming, right? And so I pulled over, and other people, they, they can't hear as well what with the traffic noise and everything, but slowly they were pulling over. And as the fire truck went by, I said, um, on, the, on the astral plane, I said, uh, are more coming, right? And, and one of the gentlemen, one of the fire, uh, fire people on the truck said, five more are coming, right? And then I said, I said to him on the astral plane, 
tell the other people, you know, how it is. And and so he did. He told uh, a few more rows of people. Um, I had further converse with him regarding that, and it seems that when um, when fire trucks start out from a fire station, they may take different routes to get to the same place because um, because of traffic obstructions and so forth. So it's not necessarily on the same road. But, uh, you know, imagine, here's another instance where traffic would know in advance if they were adept at this crossover effect, this crossover between the astral and the physical planes. They would know in advance that, um, that, that they needed to pull over and they would pull over as probably as one and allow emergency vehicles to get through. Again, saving more lives. This is very cool, isn't it? It's a wonderful notion. Now, on the physical plane, uh, I've never in all these years noticed anyone make that crossover in a conversation from the astral things, the astral chatter that they're saying on the emotional plane, the on the astral realm, and bringing that information back into the physical realm. I've never seen people do it. It's as if there were uh, societal expectations that prevent that. Um, but I anticipate in the very near future that this will be a matter of fact, everyday occurrence. People will be chatting telepathically and they will be like sentiently chatting. There's a big difference between the gut brain talking on the, on the telepathic level and the mental mind talking on the, on the telepathic level. So people will be logically conversing, as are some of the groups that I attend right now. Um, they will be logically conversing on the astral plane. And when they meet in person, they will segue right into, um, into the physical conversation with no break. I feel this to be so. So I'm looking forward to it. All things new, all things changing. And I will talk to you all another time. Take care. Bye-bye.